Hello and welcome. In this episode, we will do a quick overview of Material Handling Equipment Interface feature. This feature has been around for a while, since February 2021, but just recently, Microsoft has published this article on Microsoft Docs. So the idea behind the feature is quite simple, is to integrate warehousing in Dynamics 365 with an external application that completes the warehousing work. So for example, when you generate sales order picking work, there will be an event generated in that outbound queue. That event will be processed and will be sent to that external application via API. And here we have multiple ways of making these calls, including SOAP and REST. Once the information gets to that external material handling application, the work is being done there, then the another call is being made back to Dynamics 365, and then another event, in this time in inbound queue, is being generated. Once it's there, then the system will process that inbound event to update warehouse work inside Dynamics 365. So now let's take a quick look how we can go and generate an outbound event. So the first thing I'll do is I'll navigate to the new module. It's a material handling equipment interface right here. And let's review the parameters first. In here, I have this enable inbound message ID checkbox set to yes. So when this option is set to yes, if a duplicate inbound message ID is received, then the message will be rejected and the error message will state that the message already exists. When this option is set to no, then duplicate inbound message IDs will be allowed. And then under user mapping, here we define a warehouse worker ID that will be used to complete any actions needed based on the inbound event. So, for example, we need to go and post a pick and put on the open warehouse work based on the information received from that external material handling application. Well, in this case, if this work is to be completed in warehouse 24, we will use this warehouse worker OK. Then under number sequence, we have two number sequences to generate inbound QID and outbound QID. So those are these events that will be recorded in these inbound and outbound queues. And we also have this new concept of work line per ID. I've read the article in Microsoft Docs, and basically what this per ID is for is to group any neighboring pick and put operations together and assign them a same ID. So this way you can complete two operations, pick and put, if we received an update from the external material handling application that this work line per ID has been completed. The next step we need to look at is the subscription. Subscriptions are used to generate outbound events. These events will be recorded in outbound queue. If you look at this, and Microsoft article explains it pretty well, we have different triggers here. So for example, if this subscription is used, then we will generate an event in our queue when we initiate work. Initiating work, that means the status of the work header will change from open to in process. Another trigger could be the work order creation itself. So if we generate a certain warehouse work, then this subscription will be triggered and the event will be generated in outbound queue. So here we have a subscription ID, description, warehouse in which the work should be generated in order for that subscription to be triggered. We also have this run query checkbox. Let's take a look at this. It is checked right here. And if it's checked, we can then click on this edit query button on the top. And in here we're saying that we will only trigger this subscription and therefore the event generation only if the work order type is sales orders. It will ignore all other warehouse work types except for the sales orders. And then our events in that outbound queue will have 10 fields that we can populate with information from Dynamics 365. And in order for these 10 fields to be populated, we need to define that subscription map right here. So if we click on that, we see that all 10 data fields on the left hand side are mapped to a various fields from the work order header, which are fields from one to five, and then from work order lines, which are fields from six to 10. And you can see here we have a warehouse work record ID, 
we have a blocked wave checkbox yes no we have order number user id load id all this is going to be captured from the work order header and then we have some information like a work line per id which i already explained item number work quantity the unit and the proposed pick or put location populated from the work order line so now we have two subscriptions one should be triggered when the work is created right here and another subscription should be triggered when the work is initiated that is when we change the status of the work to in process now let's try it out first of all let's check our outbound queue at the moment so we're gonna go to that module under common outbound queue and right here we see that our our bound queue is empty now i have this work order right here it is for the wms item two units i've already reserved that so the only thing that is waiting to happen is release to warehouse so I'm going to click on that. We have a new wave 316 generated. So let's take a look at it. Navigate to our warehouse management module, outbound waves, all waves right here. Here's a wave 316. And we can see that I have configured it to automatically process, but not release work. So what that means is the work should be created, but it should be blocked. Let's take a look at that. Here's my work. It has one pick and one put line. We're gonna pick that item from bulk 09 location and put it at bay door. In the header here, you see that the block checkbox is set to yes. So the question here is, was there any outbound events generated in our queue? So let's take a look. Here's our outbound queue, refresh that, and there is nothing here. This message is just to say that our wave has been processed. What about if we then go and we unblock that work let's do that let's go back to that wave and i'm going to release that wave and that should remove the block from that warehouse work right here the checkbox is gone now let's go back to our bound queue and let's refresh i still don't see any events so that tells me that my create subscription did not work and here i'm not sure if i'm doing something wrong maybe i'm not creating the work the way the system expects me to but nonetheless the bottom line here is there is no event generated in our R bound queue so now what i will try to do is i will try to generate uh, an outbound event by initiating work so the simplest way for me to do that is just to copy that work id navigate to my warehouse emulator login go to sales order picking work and enter that warehouse work id click on ok you will see that my work order status will change from open to in process. So that is the initiation. Now let's go back to our outbound queue and let's refresh. Here I see a new outbound queue ID 0009. It has the outbound status of ready. And here I see 10 data fields populated. So this is my rec ID. This is a block checkbox set to no. This is an order number. This is user ID. I think this is a load ID. Work per ID did not get populated. So again, maybe it's a just uh, me doing something incorrectly or missing something. This is an item ID. This is a quantity, unit of measure, and that proposed pick location. So now this event can be absorbed by that external material handling application. So information may be passed on to that. Uh, certain actions completion happens there and then the inbound event is generated with the actual picked quantities and actual picked locations for example which theoretically would allow us to then go and complete that warehouse work and the last thing i'll show here is that we also have this queue manager workspace and right here we can see our inbound events as well as outbound events here's the one we just generated mm -hmm. so i think this uh, material handling equipment interface feature is a great start in that direction that is all i wanted to show to you today i hope you found that useful until the next time take care